I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a valentine using foreground, middle ground, and background. We're going to start way over here on the left, down here at the bottom, and we're going to draw a big curve line up, in, out, down, and off the page. Right next to it, we're going to do it again. Big curve line up, in, out, down, off the page. One more time. Big curve line up, in, out, down, and off the page. When an object is in the foreground, it's large and closest to you. Now, starting down here at the bottom, we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, up and over, down, curve line, curve line, curve line. Now, this also is going to show you how to do overlaps and jumping over. We start on the next one. Curve line up. Keep going. Get a little tight. Jump over. Curve line. Curve line. Curve line up. Down. Curve line. Down. Off the page. One more time. Curve line up. Keep going, curve line, curve line over, down, up, over, down, and off the page. These valentines are so big, you don't even see the bottoms at the bottom. Okay, now we're going to do overlaps, and this is the middle ground. Starting on the left, we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, Connect. Right next to it, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect. One more if you can squeeze it in. Curve line, curve line, connect. Inside, we're going to do two diagonal straight lines for stripes. So that's one, two, one, two, one, two. Next one. Let's go the opposite direction. Two straight lines. One, two, one, two, one, two. Back to this direction. One, two, straight diagonals. One, two, one, two. Opposite direction, one, two, straight diagonals, one, two, straight diagonals, one, two. Last one, one, two, straight diagonals, one, two, straight diagonals, one, two, straight diagonals. Foreground, big. Middle ground, medium size. Now, up here at the top, background. Put a dot, we're going to draw one, two curve lines connect. Dot, 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 one, two curve lines connect. Now we're going to come back over and we're just going to go curve line in, out, connect, curve line in, out, connect. Like little wings. Curve line in, out, 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 curve line in, out. Curve line in, out, curve line in, out, 
curve line in, out, curve line in, out, connect. Foreground, big, middle ground, medium, background, baby. Okay? Let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, this is one of the few times where I will say, yes, you need to color these dark. The positive is, if you only have a red crayon, that's all you need. Now some of you might want to use different colors, and that is fine. But I did mine all just with one color, red. Now the problem with doing one color is that you have to make sure you get all the pieces or all the spaces colored in nice and dark and in the lines. You don't want to get too sloppy. Okay. And the other problem with coloring dark is that it can hurt your arm or your hand. So I suggest draw one session, color, like I'm coloring the background right now. If your hand hurts, give it a rest. Come back in. Now on this one I'm just going to color inside my stripes. And you can do these any color you wish. These are the ones that I chose. Kind of a bold graphic stripes. And like I said, you could do pink. I know a lot of people like purple. You can mix your colors or just use the ones I am. And this is those big fat red crayons. They come in handy. Now this section could take you out. So my suggestion is do a loop-de-loop -loop cover coat on all of these spaces and then in order to get it dark come back and do it again and do it again and do it again so you don't kill your hand while you're doing it. So this is my first coat. Work your way over. Bring it down. Okay? Alright. Now, that's not as dark as I would like it, so now I'm going to come back and I'm going to do another coat going in opposite direction, give it a little bit of texture. Fill it all in. So theoretically, I would probably do this in two parts. See, I'm getting a little sloppy. Got to keep it clean because that's what makes it look good. And like I said before, these are kind of important because this is your foreground. This is the part that people see first. So that's two coats. That doesn't look too bad. I think I'll leave it like that. And, uh... Yeah, foreground, big, middle ground, medium, background, little. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here we are, Valentine's, foreground, middle ground, background, all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.